Hello and good evening, dear students from all over Egypt. Welcome to our beautiful session today. With you today, Ms. Amani Shoukasid Badawi, Garbia Governorate, Ms. Samar Yahya, Alexandria Governorate, and me, Ms. Sofa Hassoub, Suha Governorate. Hello, my beautiful lady, Ms. Amani. Hello, my dear. How are you, my dear friends and my students? I hope you all the best, inshallah. And we're going to start with chapter 8, inshallah, the great expectation. Yes, Ms. Sofa. Okay, so today we are going to continue Great Expectation Chapter 8. And as usual, dear students, we will start with... Okay, dear students, so um, tell Ms. Amani join us uh, again, inshallah. It's time for questions. So as you uh, already watched uh, Chapter 8, we have some questions for you to answer. So be with me, please. First question for you, dear students. What do you think Pip doesn't understand? Uh, why? Uh, sorry. Why do you think Pip doesn't understand how he feels about Stella? Of course, as you have already so, uh, uh, seen uh, in the video and the videos before, uh, he had um, a very contradicted emotions. Uh, sometimes that he felt really ashamed of, from the way she behaved to him. And another time he fell in love deeply with her. So, why do you think Pip doesn't understand how he feels? Why do you think that? Of course, due to his love to her, and she treats him badly, with cold heart. So, that makes him confused about the way she treats him. Okay, question number two. Which of the events in the story surprised you the most? Huh. What do you think? Through all the videos you already watch and through uh, your reading to the story, which of the events okay, that surprised you the most? Which one and why? Of course, you are free to mention any event. Okay, any event you uh, mention it, it's correct uh, if you answer it. But uh, according to our answer or in our opinion, we think that the situation where Pip knew how was his benefactor or who was his benefactor. Of course, that was stunning for him because all um, the novel he thought that Miss Havisham was his uh, was his benefactor. But after that, he found out that he was the convict, the the only person that he he never thought of. Well, he was surprised as we all thought that it's really strange for a criminal to be so much grateful as we already saw or already seen in the video and in our novel. So uh, according to our opinion, we think this is the most surprising event. Well, according to you, dear student, what's the most um, astonishing or um, uh, strange, surprising event uh, to you? Well, waiting for your answer, inshallah. Mr. Amani? Yes, sir. Okay, so go ahead, please. Yes, we got, we continue our questions here. And uh, do you think finding out the real identity of the benefactor will have a positive or negative impact on Pip? Why? Now he spent uh, most of the time believing that his benefactor uh, his, uh, is uh, Miss uh, Hafisham. I think it will be have a negative effect, yes, of course, on him, as he thought that Miss Hafisham uh, was his benefactor, not the convict. So it's a new change here in the life. Second question, looking back, were there any clue that Miss Hafisham wasn't the benefactor? Something clues, there is something clues. That's what was clear, but he didn't think of it because he wanted the hair to be hair benefactor. So, what is it? First of this, uh, ask it another convict, Macbeth, ask it another convict to give babe. You remember the coin, the shining coin? He gave it uh, to him uh, while they were in the and uh, sitting in the cafe or waiting for some uh, for him uh, with Joe and he gave him this coin and he took it back home uh, to his sister. So 
this is the first one, this is the, the one. And the second one is uh, Miss Havisham, give the money to Estella rather than Babe. You see, she decided to give all her money to be her, to, to give her as her daughter and adopted her, to give her all the money, uh, not giving anything to Babe. So this was a clue that he is, she is not the person. Yes, Miss Ofa. Okay, so in what ways did Pip and Herbert become extravagant? Huh? What do you think? How did they become extravagant, dear students? You know extravagance? The person who spends a lot of money and don't care about it, okay? Huh? What, what way? According to chapter 8, okay, as you already uh, seen them, uh, they joined a very expensive club and spent a lot, a lot of money and they got into debt, okay? So they have become members of an expensive gentleman uh, club and spent a lot of money that made them got into debt. And uh, according to that, they became extravagant together. Well, number six, and uh, sorry, uh, we had to give you few seconds for you to answer. Uh, why did Pip continue visiting Stella and Richmond? In your opinion, why did he continue in visiting Stella? Of course, he hoped that she would fall in love with him uh, when she sees him more and uh, listen to his words and so on. Okay, he hoped eagerly for this. Okay, why do you think Pip didn't understand how he felt about Stella? Why didn't he um, understood uh, his feeling? He, he, he couldn't understand, well, uh, as we already mentioned these questions before. Huh. Of course, Pip fell deep in love with Stella and looked forward to marrying her, despite his being unhappy when they were together. So he was deeply in love and on the other hand, he uh, got insulted from her all the time. So he was afraid of seeing her because she will hurt his feelings. So uh, his emotions were really contradicted. He can't um, decide which to, um, to love her or to, he to hate her. So that was really contradicting for him. Yes, Ms. Yes, we continue our questions here. We have uh, number nine. You know, I want to trick all my admirers, apart from you, okay? Why do you think Stella said that to Beb? This is the conversation between Stella and Beb. She mentioned that I will trick all them, but accept you, apart from you. So why? I think here, this is, you have to think this is all the question depends on what do you think? What is your opinion? So take care. You have to read all the novel to understand to get the idea. It seems that she wanted Beb to feel special. So she tell him, apart from you, trick them all, my admirers, apart from you. I will never do it for you. Perhaps Miss Havisham wanted her to do that. This is one, perhaps. She wanted her to just uh, be friendly with him, more friendly with him, or maybe she didn't want to hurt him. She still have, maybe she has certain love or affection or like she like him for a certain thing. So this is the, the idea. Remember, my dear student, that you're going to just talk about what do you think? What is your opinion? All the question, most of it. So here it seems, perhaps, or maybe. Good luck. Yes, Ms. Ufa. We have yes. number 10. Yes. Why was Beb excited about becoming 21st? Oh, he becomes 21st. Now he's going to receive what he got all the knowledge. What is uh, 21 or 21st is uh, the age that you're going to be, we call it adult age. That means in the court, you're going to know everything about your lawyer people. Okay, he thought he would receive all his fortune. Oh yes, he, now he just, uh, he thought that uh, 
is going to see to receive all the money and the fortune at the same time would meet his benefactors so here the benefactors would know reveal himself as he expected to know him more or to be confirmed for him whom he believed yes take care he still he believed that whom he believed she was miss half so here but mr gregor said he won't know his benefactor stop him from knowing his benefactor uh here is the question dear student why did they feel sorry when he visited joe and betty in your opinion when he visited them why did he feel so sorry about meeting them well in our opinion we think that they were really kind and helpful to him but he hadn't visited them okay for a long long time as you already seen before and read uh, from the novel he is now a gentleman so he's feeling ashamed from being with poor people with such humble people like betty and the joe and so on so he stopped seeing them and with his bad treatment they stopped seeing him too they stopped meeting him or visiting him so after a very long time okay he felt ashamed of the change that happened to him So, question number eight. Why was Pip angry with Orlik? Why do you think he was really angry from Orlik? <laughs> of course, he was really angry with him as he attacked his sister. And now he was threatening Betty. So, he attacked his sister. He's threatening Betty. That made him really angry from him. Okay? And that's why he promised to visit her very often in order not to be alone not to leave them alone okay so that orlik um, doesn't or do, don't attack them uh, all over it again yes mr man yes uh, number 11 i have never forgotten what you have done for me pip why do you think Megwitch say that to pip of course now this is a new character enter here his name is Megwitch. Who is Megwitch? Do you remember at the first chapter, it was uh, the escaping uh, convict uh, in the graveyard and uh, Pip helped him give him money. I'm sorry, give him uh, food and uh, the file to, to get off his uh, chains. He wanted to remind Pip of what he did in the graveyard oh yes this is the man contact man when he was a boy and how he was grateful for his help so now this is the astonishing that he find this neck which was the convict who helped him in the past and he is also the benefactor so for him the pay for money for him you know that he's going to work he going he went uh, to australia he spent all time in Australia and spent all time working and saving money for what? To give it back to Pip when he returned and to give him this chance. So he asked the lawyer to help him and give him the money. This is the story of Megwitch. So here he wants him to be great, show him how grateful for his help in the past. Number 12. Bib said that he wished that he didn't miss Havisham. Why? Why do you think he said that? He replied, he said once for himself that, uh, yes, I am being a gentleman, but uh, I don't like this part of me. Why? What, what happened? Because there is a certain change in his character. He turned it from the kind man. He started the story as a poor, kind boy, you see here. This is whole story, and he was very helpful, very friendful with Joe, and he loved Baby as she helped him, and he, he's uh, uh, very loyal for him. But he started the story as a poor kind boy who loved and cared for Joe. This is the first one, and when he met her, he changed it and become an arrogant. Oh yes, he become arrogant. He thinks that's about himself. I want to be a gentleman. Nothing uh, ashamed of uh, my past. I have to drop it back. 
and never to think back about it. So he ignored him when he came to visit him in chapter six. Do you remember when he came to visit him? He meet him with a cold feeling and he give him the impression that he, do, he is not welcome here. So Joe understand the story and went back quickly and moved quickly to his country, to his place. So here, this is the change that he hit. That's why he started to think about himself. Yes, I became a gentleman and a very uh, uh, no, well-known man in the society of London, but I miss being the, the kind gentleman or the boy, kind boy. So he hated this moment. Arrogant man who didn't want to meet Joe or, or anyone from his village. Even he, when he went to visit uh, visit her, after he's being in uh, being grown up, he didn't want to visit them. He just passed through the cafe, the cafe and uh, the store and every place, not to welcome any of the people he knows in the past. That's why he hated these uh, things in him. Yes, Miss Wafa. Dear students, so continue the, the questions and we have wonderful uh, question for you, dear students. Do you sympathize with um, Mr. Megwich? Why and why not? So do you feel sorry for him? You know, Megwich, as Mr. Manny already told you, he's the convict. So do you sympathize with him? Do you feel sorry with him? Huh. Either you say yes or no, but give me the clue give me why give me an evidence why do you think yes i sympathize with them or no i don't sympathize with them huh. why do you think well if we say yes as we already mentioned here in the answer yes as he was grateful to vip and he helped him to be a rich gentleman he had a kind nature so after everything that Pip did to him he insisted on helping him and being a benefactor to him um, moving him from being a poor boy to uh, a fine gentleman to someone who is counted in the society so yes we sympathize with him this is if you say yes well if you say no what will be the clue to your answer why would you say no well, in our uh, opinion, okay, we may say no, we don't sympathize or feel sorry for Megwich because he is a convict. He committed a crime. That means that he is a bad person because he committed a crime. He de destroyed the values of the community or uh, of the society. Maybe he killed a person, he stole money or he destroyed um, a property to somebody, okay, or to someone. So that made him a bad person. So we don't feel uh, tempsy for him or we don't feel sorry for him. He deserves to be put into jail. Okay, so um, that if we say no. So you have uh, two answers. Either you say yes and give me the clue or you say no and give us the evidence too. Well, moving to a question 14. What might have happened if Pip hadn't helped Mr. Megwich? Well, if Pip didn't help him, what do you think have happened to him? Well, according to us, well, in, in our opinion, okay, um, well, for, for Megwich, he might not have left Joe and completed his, uh, well, this is for Pip. We think that uh, if he didn't uh, or every everything that happened from Megwich meeting Megwich himself okay he may have completed his apprenticeship okay as a blacksmith with Joe and continue as a poor, uh, poor person and also a kind-hearted man he will never leave his friends uh, he maybe um, will never meet Stella and feel greedy to be a gentleman just to suit her and suit her hopes, okay? So maybe that all uh, have happened. And of course, um, he would never be a gentleman or a rich person and be arrogant person. He may still, okay, or stayed as a, 
a, a good person. So this is what we think might have happened, okay, to uh, Pip. Uh, well, it's according to you, dear student, to uh, give us your imagination, your fancy about um, what might have happened if uh, Pip hadn't helped Mr. Megwich. Yes, Mr. May. Yes, we have 15. If you were a Stella, would, who would you prefer? Pip or Bentley Drumplin? Oh, why? You know, there is a new character here. It's not new, completely new, but we have here the gentleman who entered the life of Stella and he is competed with Pep and he is going to overcome Pep in uh, taking the place in the heart uh, as it's imagined. Let me see here two gentlemen, which one are you going to choose? Uh, of course, Stella, I would prefer Bertie Berber as he belonged to the upper class and he was wealthy. So if I am in the mind of Estella, she wanted what? She wanted a rich man, upper class, and not a working boy that he becomes a gentleman. He wanted to be original. So he, she going, that's what happened. She chooses Bentley Drumble because he is from an upper class and he was a wealthy man. So there's no need to work hard or think about what happened if the money ended with the uh, baby or not. So she chose it rightly, what she trained for to take the advantage of everyone around her. Number 16, do you think babe was completely ungrateful to others? Why? Oh, others here mean his family, his friend maybe. Let me think here. Yes, having been a gentleman, that arrogant gentleman, he wanted to change and to be to be suited for Stella. He was ashamed of his best friend Joe. Oh, he has a good relation with Joe, and he stayed with him for a long time. And he gave him a talk about a talk with him a lot and give him ideas and uh, asking for his advice. But now he stopped when he become. A change and put on his mind that I want to be what? I want to be the gentleman that suited Stella, not related to the poor class. Maybe no, because he had to give a hand to the Provost. Oh, do you know here? This is another name. I'm going to tell you about it. Provost is a Mac Witch. So the same name. He is the convict. And we're going to know later from the story uh, the story of Provis. And this Provis is the convict who escaped from uh, the jail and they met him in the graveyard. So I think he is a, good, a grateful man. And he's a good man. Uh, this babe to him, he offered a hand to this uh, gentleman, although he didn't know him, who had helped babe to become a gentleman. Of course, he... He repay back this prophet. He repay back for him. He was grateful and he helped him to be the gentleman he wanted to be. He noted that he, he followed him. He asked someone to follow him and know what is he's about, what he wants. And he accomplished or give him the chance to be the gentleman. Yes. Number 17. Do you think Stella was right to be a tool in Miss Hampshire's hands. Why? Yes, sir. Of course, here uh, we're going to talk about uh, this uh, young lady and what she has done. Yes. Uh, yes, Miss Hampshire of Spoil Stella. Do you think it was right? No, of course she was not right. And lavished her with money. She make her the arrogant. She created the arrogant and we're going to know who is Stella and how she come back to this uh, old lady Hashman. And uh, she brought her up in a way that she must broke the heart of the men. She used her as a tool to take revenge for, from every man because she was hurt by a man who taking her wealth and left her in the wedding day. So she is 
completely taking revenge and she didn't care about her feeling or anyone feeling, but uh, she uses her. So she has, she was right to be a tool. No, she just uh, couldn't imagine she was young and she complied for the plan she bought by Miss Hafsham. Yes, um, Miss Hafsham spoiled Stella and lavished her with money and jewelry, so she couldn't have this disobey Miss Hafsham. So she wasn't have any rights. She go on following her words as she is uh, giving her what she wants. She brought her up and giving, she obeyed her. She obeyed her completely without thinking. Yes, Miss. Okay, dear students. So uh, with question 18, why was Biff angry when his sister died? According to the story or to the novel, his sister died, okay, uh, by someone that who attacked her. So Pip was really angry because he couldn't find who attacked his sister, who killed her, okay? Um, and despite she was bad to him, she treated him really bad, but he was really angry about not the finding who has killed her. So of course, because her attacker hadn't been caught yet. Well, question 19. Why did Pip help a merchant called Mr. Clarico? Uh, do you remember that? According to the novel, dear students, okay, uh, when he uh, um, found that his friend was deeply in debt, okay, and he, uh, Mr. Uh, uh, Jaggers, gave him 500 pounds, and you saw this um, uh, in the video. He gave him 500 pounds, okay, a banknote, uh, just to support him, to support Pip. But Pip used the money, okay, to help his friend, to help his friend who is deeply in debt. So that's why, okay, uh, he helped a merchant called Mr. Clarikor, uh, because this person will help his friend and make him work for him, find a job, find a work, okay, so he can uh, pay back all his debts. So let's see it together. So that Mr. Clarikor would offer Herbert a well-paid job. So as I already told you, he helped him or he was really happy about uh, this help uh, because he wanted his friend Herbert to get rid of uh, all his debts. As of course, uh, Pip uh, did to him or have happened to him because he already have a 500 pounds. So all his debts are vanished now, and he wanted his friend to uh, to be um, to get rid of all his debts. But you know, dear students, this is something good and bad. It's good that he helped his friend. That means that he is kind. But it makes you think why he didn't feel so toward Joe, Biddy, and so on. Why he insisted on helping the rich boy and not helping his old friend? Well, think about that. Question 20. What happened to Magwitch after he had been caught in the marsh? Well, in your opinion, what do you think had happened to him? Of course, he was sent to Australia for life. You know, for life, it's for, for all his life, he was sent to Australia. He had been a sheep farmer there and has made, uh, has made a fortune. So he turned from a convict to a good person. He is now a farmer. He has a farm. He um, grows plants. And he is uh, earning his living, dear students, not by stealing and not by harming people, but uh, from his own hands, as we can say. Okay, so he's now turning to a good person. Yes, here we're going to continue. You should know, replied Stella, because I am what you made me. Oh, this is the conversation. Do you remember what? She's talking with whom? Yes, sir. she's talking with the person who made her. Do you remember who uh, brought her up in Britain? Yes, she was. She was Miss Hatterton. Here the question, 
Do you think Stella was satisfied with the role she was playing with Miss Havisham? Why? She wasn't satisfied, of course. She was obliged to do something. She, she was uh, wounded back that she wanted to trick all her admirers. Yes, she was brought up to trick all the admirers, to broke their, their hearts. But, and seems to argue him as strongly as she can to find happiness by leaving her behind. Yes, she was so honest with him and tell him, if you want to find happiness, leave me and find it elsewhere. Why? Because I am brought up to break the heart and play tricks on all my admirers. So she was honest at this moment with him. Of course, he knew. Yes, because the way she was brought up made her eager to break men's heart. So to answer whether you remember what Ms. Ofa told you, this is according to your thought. What do you think about it? So yes or no, but give us why. This is all the question will be opinion and why. So you have to read all this, the novel and answer it. Number 22, do you sympathize with Magwish as a result of his assistant to Beth? Why? Now we know that Miigwech, he is a convict, yes, but he assisted Beb. So, do you? Why? Why? Of course, here, some say, yes, although he is a criminal, he is, has something wrong, and we're going to know later what happened. Miigwech helped those who helped him. This is a good character, the good model that he helped those who helped him indeed. And he was uh, have his sentence, you know, he went out to Australia never to come back. And when if he come back, he will be convicted to death. And so he worked in Australia honestly with people to get money for the sake of Beb to help Beb. So he decided to go back and speak and tell Beb about it and he put himself in uh, danger. Yes, although he is a criminal, Megwish helped those who helped him and uh, tried to avoid getting innocent people into trouble. Do you remember the first time after the police got him and arrested him? What he said quickly when he saw Joe and Beth, he said, Mr. Joe, I steal from uh, your food and I steal the file from you. So has nothing to do to do nothing to deal with Joe. I'm sorry, with Beb. So he clarify his uh, way and he can tell him that I am responsible for the, uh, taking your food, stealing your food, and taking the file to break my cups. So he's uh, so getting innocent people into trouble. This is a gentleman. I think uh, this is my opinion. Yes, Miss Wafa. Okay, so we have here another answer, dear students. Um, the question that Miss Amani already told you about his assistant to Pip. So, do you think that you uh, sympathize for him? Okay, you feel sorry with um, for uh, Megwich, according to his help to Pip. Think, think carefully. So, Mr. Uh, Amani already told you yes and gave reason for her yes. We have here other reasons. We think, um, well, we sympathize with them because Miigwech loved Pep as his own son and tried to help him to become a gentleman later in life. Maybe, maybe, dear students, uh, Miigwech, um, because he was poor, uh, he became a convict. So he wanted to prevent, to stop Pep from being a convict. Maybe he, he wanted to read the future. So he thought that maybe Pip turned into a convict like him. So if I helped him, gave him money, turned him into a gentleman, so he will stop him from being a convict or being a criminal. So we think that we sympathize with him because we maybe, maybe for what he did to Pip, he has something good, something merciful inside his heart. Okay? Of course, it's according to you, dear students, to say yes or no. 
well, continue the question together. Uh, here we have um, a quotation from the novel. Uh, listen carefully. I still hope that she would fall in love with me, but I usually felt unhappy when we were together. Uh, of course, you know who said these words. It's Pep, of course, okay? Uh, to Herbert. So, why do you think Pep felt unhappy when they were together? Uh, they were together, of course, he, um, the question here means Stella. Why do you think that Pep felt unhappy uh, while meeting Stella? You saw in the video when uh, she asked him um, down the stairs, okay? She asked him, do you think that... Um, um, I'm cruel. Well, uh, he, he told her, well, yes, but not enough, not too cruel. So she slapped his face. She hit his face, okay, and told him, well, remember this, I'm too cruel. So whenever he felt um, a little bit good from her actions or um, uh, try to um, maybe love her more, okay, she kept on uh, treating him in a cruel way just to remind him never love me or stop loving me i'm cruel i'm going to break your heart okay so let's see the answer together of course he felt unhappy because of stella's nature and her cold character cold heart she always treated him badly as one of the commons the common people, she looked down upon him. She looked him, to him as a common boy, okay? And never seemed to share uh, his love. She never uh, treated him as maybe she will love him uh, after that. She never gave him hope uh, that she maybe, cha maybe will change her emotion, okay, from cruelty to love after that. Okay, so question 24, dear students, what might have happened if Pip hadn't helped Mr. Megwitch? What do you think if Pip didn't help him? What uh, We told you what might have happened to Pip. Well, what about Megwitch? What do you think might have happened to him if Pip didn't uh, bring him the file and food? Well, we think that he... Um, Maybe the police caught him earlier, a little bit earlier. Maybe he got killed, okay? Maybe he ran away, okay, without um, uh, seeing Pip or, or all the, our story didn't happen or might have happened, have, haven't happened. Okay, so let's see our answer together. Uh, he might have been arrested earlier by the police, as we already told you, or he could have been killed. Or another option, he may run away, okay, and never, okay, found before, or the police hadn't ever found him. And of course, he will never see Pip again. Maybe he will come back, okay, later to Pip to take revenge for not helping him. All these are ideas for you, dear students. Yes, Mr. Yes, here, 25. You know that I wanted to track all my admirers, she replied. All of them are part of from you. What do you think this world show about Estella's character? You remember, she, we are repeating questions in another way because it depends on your idea and how you think. Stella was brought up to despise, yes, men, but to use her heart, beauty to attack, uh, attract them and then break their heart. You know, the, the lady brought her, she wanted her to be cruel, to kill and to punish men with her. She was heartless towards men. This is why this is his character, her character. This is how she was brought up. Do you think Megwitch's character had any bright side? If yes, what are they? Bright side, good things. Do you think Megwitch was noble, although it was Pip who did the stealing? Megwitch did not want the boy who has helped him getting into trouble. Do you remember what happened? He stole the food and the file from Joe. 
Yes, uh, so he admitted that I did it because uh, he want uh, not no one want to blame them for that. So he nobly takes the blame upon himself. This is at the very beginning, and of course, uh, a char another character of right side that he helped him and give him money to complete his study and to be the gentleman he wanted. He dreamed about it. He noted that uh, uh, he follow him that he wants to be the gentleman to prove to Estella that I can be the gentleman I want. Megwatch proved that he could be a productive and useful member of the society if he had been given the right opportunity in life. Yes, this is what happened really. That's mean when he went to Australia, he walked there, he made his fortune and he was a hard worker. And this mean if he got the opportunity and he will uh, got, he will be done perfectly. This is your opinion to give it and uh, you have to think about it. So far, and okay, the time dear is set. Yes. yes, and we reached the end of our question, Mr. Rani, already. So, yes. dear students, uh, see you inshallah on uh, Wednesday with the grammar and uh, Miss Amani and Miss Samor. I already dropped the link to a form uh, on the vocabulary of um, a great expectation. So, the link is in the chat box. Please uh, uh, click the link, uh, answer the questions, and inshallah, see you uh, on a good health. Goodbye, dear students. Yes, goodbye, my dear student, and uh, goodbye, Ms. Ufa. And I hope you study especially in novel to have a general idea about it, to can answer uh, because the question will be at the end and will uh, take all the novel, not a part, not chapter by chapter. It will be all. So we try to make it uh, as a wall. Good luck. Goodbye.